Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating a beehive for Winnie the Pooh centerpieces. Now, let's go ahead and start. You will love this tutorial. It's pretty simple when it comes to design space. It's in and out, it's simple. The I think the hardest part maybe is that you need a lot of patience is with your actual assembly part of the beehive. Now, we're on design space. Go to your right hand side, click on images, and we're gonna type in what we're looking for. I'm gonna type in B, I need a bumblebee, and then I need a beehive. And I'll let you know why I'm using this template. And we click on enter, and we get, this is, I, I want this one. I'm not gonna buy it, but I'm gonna show you. We click on that one. Once you click on the image, you'll see it on the bottom of the screen. Now let's get the B right here. This one, you'll see both images in the bottom of the screen. We're gonna go ahead and insert images. Once you're on your canvas, now I'm using plastic planters from the store from Lowe's. So those planters are 10 inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this template. I'm gonna go to the top, unlock, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on 10. Wait, lock it, I'm sorry. These planters are 10 by eight and something. It's almost eight, if I'm not mistaken. But the height is 10 inches. So once we do that, let's click on the image. Let's go where it says basic cut. We can change it to a print and cut standard. Let's go ahead and change it here. Not that color, I'm sorry. Not that one, I'm sorry guys. Not print and cut. Leave it as standard, I am so sorry. Let's just leave it at basic cut. Go down here to your layers panel, click on contour, and then we're gonna hide what we don't need, which is all of these little things right here. Okay. Okay, then we're going to X out and we have this. Okay. Let's just say this is our planter. Now, let's go ahead and change the color. And let's change it to a brownish color. Because the what I'm going to wrap around it is almost this color. Like a honey color. Okay, let's leave it like that. I, this is just a guide for me to know where I'm going to place this. And then go to shape. Let's change the color. Once you click on the shape, you go on where it says operation, that gray box. That identifies the image you just clicked on. Let's change it to black. Unlock, and we're going to change it to 2.5 by 2.5, and we lock it. Let's just place this right here. This is just for for you to see the actual planter, the actual beehive. Let's go ahead and grab our little bees and we're going to size them. They will be two inches. Let's make them two inches by two we're gonna lock them we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the one two three okay now we're gonna grab all these those i don't want them svg if you look at your layers panel you have little pieces i don't want to make them svg i want to i want to make them print and cut it's faster but go to your layers panel click on a b unlock this one not unlock it unclick the eye so it can have that little border I'm gonna unlock all of them. Not unlock, click on the eye. Once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and flatten them. You can flatten it all at the same time anyways. Okay, and now we're going to place this one looking this way. I'm gonna put it right here. This one looking this way right here. And this one, I don't want it looking that way. I want it looking towards the 
entrance of the, this will be the entrance of the beehive. <laughs> so we have that. Now, check this out. I'm going to show you something. Let's leave it like this. Let's go ahead and hide the beehive. When we go and click and select your machine that you'll be using, once you do that, you save your project. We're going to click on Make It. I'm going to show you something. You see our bees right here? I'm going to make several of them. But one of them, I don't want it... I want it looking towards the entrance, right? But if I leave it here, it's going to look the other way around, right? So if I mirror it here, it will mirror all of my bees. I don't want that, okay? So let me show you a trick. Click on cancel. This one that you... Let me bring on our beehive. Click on the eye. This one right here. You go to flip, horizontal, and the bee is looking towards the entrance. So we just flip horizontal. Wait. What happened to my bee? Ugh. You see, I'm going to delete it because that bee is acting up. Let me duplicate it. And then let's flip it horizontal. So it's going towards the entrance. Okay. So let's hide this and watch. When you click on make it, it's already flipped here. Okay. So I have four planters to make. So. I need 12 of them, so let me get, but if I click on 12, I will have 12 circles. I'm going to do 12 because I have other orders for these, so, but if you just need one, remember you only click one and you can just continue, but I need several, so I'm going to click 12 and apply. So what I have here is, where is the one that was flipped? Right there. So I don't need this one. Mm. Let me just click on four each. Okay, there it is. I have four of each, which will be on each beehive. It's only one, it's only three bees per beehive. So we have it here. And then... We have this here. I just have, I'll just cut a chunk of cardstock and do this. But I will maybe eventually fill this up and just save them because, like I said, I have other orders for this. So once you do that, this will be printed on 65 pound cardstock. And this also will be cut on 65 pound card cardstock. This is print and cut the bees. And the circles will be a basic cut. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Send to printer. You will select, it'll come up, the printer that you'll be using, and we click on print. Once you print, you select your material. The pressure, I leave it the same, and I go on fast mode. You stick it onto your mat. You load it to your machine and you press your flash and go button. Once it's done, you take it out your machine, clean it up, click on your second image, which are the circles. And again, you can leave it on your 65 pound cardstock if that's what you're using. If not, you can just go ahead and change it right here on your material. Next, let's go ahead and stick that black cardstock onto your mat. You load it to your machine. I leave it the fast mode. Press the flash and go button. Once you're done, take it out, clean it up, and I see you guys back at the table. Like I said, you will enjoy this tutorial. It's really, really nice. I'll see you guys back at the table so we can start assembling. Okay, now we are back. Let's go ahead and start 
we don't want this video to be that long right so i have the rope which is three eighths three eighths by 50 feet i have the planter you can find these at any store from lowe's home depot dollar general family dollar dollar tree the rope i got it from lowe's it's good quality i have my scissors i have my vinyl the circle and the bees i have glue stick i have my four inch flower pot i have yellow paint a couple of brushes my glue gun now what i'm going to show you first is just how to start with this part it, it's not that difficult what's going to take time is applying the glue and going all around so what i do is just grab and take out my my rope and i'll just throw it on the floor it's easier for me to do it that way i'll throw it on the floor and we're going to go ahead and start now this i like this rope because it's kind of glossy and it's like a honey color and then this part right here it's not shredding not i don't know how to, the other word people use um so it's easier to handle see because it's hard it won't come apart so you're going to start by bending this one in touching this side like forming a little circle like this it's just i'm going to show you guys right you see the circle and then you place it here and that's where you want to start to me well for me it's easier to start from the top because i tried starting from the bottom going all the way up to the top and here uh, it was a mess and then the 50 feet does not cover the entire planter so by this side let's say like up to here i had to add another piece and then you can see it rather than adding a piece in the bottom and then we can cover it so let's go back again let's go do this i'm going to grab my glue A little bit of glue here just so when i pinch it i can go like this the rest is easy once you get this right the top like quarter or something like this then you're fine now you add generous amount of glue be careful right in the middle i have my little embossing tool my scoring tool sorry I have my scoring tool that can help me with the excess. What? Ow! Sorry, guys. <laughs> with the excess of glue. Be careful. It is hot. So this is the part that you have to wait a little bit. You have to wait. If you want, you can even have a fan coming this way a little bit. Or you can blow and then make your, like, start going all around. So what I do, instead of rotating the rope moving the rope what i do is just move the planter and hold it and then once i get here then i'll have to move the rope this way so grab your glue and just a little bit right at the bottom be careful because if you put a lot of glue it will seep through so see i move my planter all around and just go all around i'm just going to cover this part it's just for you to guys to see do not let go of that middle part because the glue is still drying so this is what's going to take a little bit long maybe 30 35 minutes it all depends your glue i'm using gorilla glue and this is a high temp glue gun which i'm in the market looking for a new glue gun because these are already old one already went bad and then my the shore bonder and then my black and decker of course as usual i did not charge it because i use it all day every day and i forgot to charge it 
but I'm in the market getting like a fine tip glue. Okay, let's make ourselves round. Like this. If you see glue steeping through, like here in the middle, just grab exacto knife or some thin tool and just scrape it out while it's warm do not wait till it gets dry or try to take it out while it's hot because it will smudge way too much so let's add a little bit of more glue there and then try to twist twist the rope towards how the rope is twisted <laughs> if that makes sense and then push it in you see like the, right there, there's some glue, but when you push it in, it will finish going all the way. This is the part what I was saying, try to take out the, the glue while it's warm. Okay. And then later you can clean the tip of your glue gun and just go over it. Okay, you see how it's coming along? Wow, that's a beautiful little circle, right? <laughs> okay, like I said, let me just go ahead and speed it up till I go to the bottom of that lip. When you finish the top part, keep going down do not keep how do i explain this do not keep going like on the side because if you keep going on the side you keep going like this like this and it'll make like a little bump so when you apply the glue keep going down like your rope your rope you know down like this see instead of placing it here on top of the rope you put it you glue it below that row if it makes sense not let me show you not on top of the rope you see not on top of this rope you're gonna put it below it you're gluing it below that row because if you put it on top you're gonna keep going and going keep lumping like it's gonna have like a big lump okay I'm gonna stop it right here because it's gonna take us way too long so what I'm trying to do is once you go around I'm not gonna add glue just to show you guys keep going all the way let's say I already added the glue out right you have to make sure that you are when you're when you're placing your glue take that rope and press it up as well stretch it press up stretch it and press up stretch it and press up so it can cover the color of your planter okay so once you do that i'm gonna set this aside it will be something like this okay now this is the part that i was telling you when you when the 50 feet does not cover the whole entire planter this will be the back side we can add something later a b or something doesn't matter but the front side you see once you get to the bottom which is it starts where is it let me get it for you guys right here when you go all around you start here you cover that you cover that once you get here what you do is you grab your scissors you cut it let me cut this little piece because I just saw this little piece that I don't like there. You cut it with your scissors and for it to stop shedding, you go ahead and grab your hot glue, just a little bit, dabs of hot glue, just a little bit. You can blow it and then you can press down for it to stop, not to shed out okay and then there you go you have your planter after you do that all that let's clean this up a little bit 
trash can here. Okay. Now, let's grab our circle. Okay, now for the circle, I'm not going to put it here because it's too low. Wait, yes, I can put it here. Oh, that'll be great. Yes, it's not that low because I do it the fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. And then that's where I place my my circle this circle is just resembling the entrance of the beehive so what i'm going to do add hot glue and glue it right here don't worry about this lifting i'll show you why i say not not to worry let's do that okay you guys can see it okay great Grab a piece of rope. Okay. I cut this one. I think it was from this one. Grab this piece of rope. I don't have a lighter on me. You can use a lighter for it not to continue to you know, to shed, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. To open, to expand. <laughs> you can go ahead. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue so it can stop. Well, not a little. Generous amount of hot glue. Then I'm just going to put it here. Roll it up somewhere that won't burn. No, it's cool. Okay. It cooled down when I rubbed it against that plastic. Okay. This is fine. Just don't want it to continue to shed. Because like I said, I don't have a lighter with me. Okay, now this is real quick. Now we're going to go ahead and grab this. Place this part in the bottom. Why? Because you don't want it showing up here because we're going to add something to the bottom. And make your circle. Make sure you cover that circle right i'm gonna show you how i do this make sure you cover the circle and then that's where you're gonna cut right here okay that circle is fine i'm gonna cut it right here and if you're making several of these you can go ahead and use this as a guide okay now we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves Let's go around. If you want, you can go ahead and do this. Glue it. Glue the ends and then place it here. What I like to do is just glue it on since I'm already here. Do not add glue inside the circle. Just make it a little bit of glue on like the edge, just a little bit because we can always go back and add glue behind the rope. So let's just go ahead and place it here and go all around. Okay, you have the circle. What I'm going to do is, just cleaning this a little bit, grab it here and add a little bit of glue in the bottom right here and press it down so it can stay right there. Take the big part right here and press it down. Okay, now that's good to go. I'm going to grab my little bees and I'm gonna start assembling these bees. Put in the bees, I'm gonna put them you know, you can choose, you wanna put them here. I'm just gonna put three of them. Add glue, generous amount in the middle so it can hold on to that rope. Remember, the rope is a little bit glossy. It will hold really good. Just the right amount of glue will hold. Okay, and then we're going to grab up our other two bees. OK, 
Okay. I'm loving it. Now, let's go ahead, grab your glue gun. And I'm going to add glue, like if there's honey dripping out of this hole. This right here, we're going to cover that with a whole bunch of glue. You can go ahead, be creative on this part. You can go ahead and you're going to add that whole bunch of glue and add a line going down. It's just like honey, like dripping out from that part. You can do it like that. And then you can go here and have it drip all the way down on this side. And then you can maybe, uh, I'm not gonna do the inside of that one. Just, I'm gonna do a little bit of the inside on this side right here, the inside. You can't see it, I think right there. You can see the little bit of gloss. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more here because that's where the main honey is coming out from. Okay, I'm gonna put it this way because I don't want it to continue to drip. I just want a big blump of, <laughs> blump, really? A big, <laughs> a nice amount of hot glue coming out. Then let me just put this right in here. Okay, now we're gonna let it dry. And this is dry. Grab your paintbrush, add a little bit of paint, and I'm going to start painting these. Okay, see, I'm gonna set it aside. Wait for that to dry that first coat, add your second and third coat, and let's say that it's already dried. See, this one is still, still wet. Let's say you did the second and third coat, and you will have something like this. Okay, there we go. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and happy crafting.